Hi everyone. Did you know that you can now add baselines to your Smartsheet project schedule? This is great because it's something that people have been asking for for a while. And I am so happy to see that this is now an available feature. So what is a baseline? A baseline is a time-based standard against which performance is measured. So to boil that down, we're basically looking at our original project plan and saying, what were our forecast start and end dates compared to our actual start and end dates? And then we're looking at the variance. Did we get done sooner than we thought we were going to, or was it actually later than we thought we were going to? So let me show you this. I'm Candace Porter. If you haven't been to this channel before, I love sharing all things project management, and I explore a lot of tools with Smartsheet being one of my favorite. I am certified in Smartsheet, and I love answering your questions. So here we go out to Smartsheet to take a look. Okay, so here is a mock project that I am going to use to show you how to turn on a baseline or activate it within Smartsheet. You will see here, just to orient you a little bit, that I have some at-risk tasks. I've set up a column where I can flag any tasks that I wanna highlight as at-risk. I've got the percent complete column here where it shows if tasks are in progress, not started, or actually completed. I've got my project organized in planning phase, execution, monitoring, and closing. And I've got it to where just the planning tasks are showing. You'll see that we've got an assigned to here in this column. So these would be the human resources working on the task. We've got a start date. We've got an end date. We've got duration of each of the tasks. And of course, I've got my predecessors. So I am a big advocate of having predecessors, which is a task that comes before another task. So basically it's building logic into your schedule so that you don't have to manually update the dates. If I change the duration of one of the tasks, it's automatically going to change the date of the task that were dependent upon the previous task being completed. So that's called a predecessor task. And you'll see that we've got a column easily built into Smartsheet. So what I want to do is go ahead and set my baseline for what I've got right now in my project schedule. I am currently in grid view, you will see. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to switch to Gantt view. Gantt view will actually show me where the work flows and over time. So we've got the dates along the top here. It's currently June, and it's going to show me when the actual tasks fall within the project schedule. You will see that some of them are bright red. That's my critical path. If you weren't aware Smartsheet has critical path, you can turn it on and you can turn it off. And it puts a red line around the task that are on the critical path. You will now see where baselines is right next to that critical path. So right here it says baselines and I'm going to click on that. So I have right now show baselines in Gantt. I'm currently showing my start date and my end dates. It's currently showing that I am on track and I'm going to set it. So what it's going to do now is add some additional columns to my project schedule. So if I go back to grid view, I'm gonna switch from Gantt view back to grid view, you're going to see that I now have automated columns that were added, baseline start, baseline finish, and the variance. I don't have a variance right now because I just set it with the dates that were in my actual project schedule. But let's say 
that 615, we were supposed to have activity one completed today and we're at 50%. We're not at 100%. And so I need to increase that. We thought it was gonna take three days. It's actually going to take five days. So I have switched that to five days, which pushed out the date to June 17th, which in turn adjusted the dates that have logic or successor task. A predecessor task comes first, a successor task comes second. So it automatically updated the dates based on me extending that task by two days. Now, if you take a look at the baseline start and the baseline finish, they're going to remain the original dates. So when I set that baseline, it locked these dates in and it's now going to show me if there's a variance. So you will see because my work is now going to end for activity one on the 17th of June, that it was originally going to end on the 15th of June, it shows that we are two days behind schedule. So two days behind schedule. And you'll see that that is showing for each of the tasks that were linked to that task. So two days behind schedule for everything. And that is it as far as setting your actual baseline. So this is a great tool because when people ask, are you ahead of schedule or are you behind schedule? If you have not set a baseline to compare your progress to, then you don't really know unless you go back to old versions of your project schedule, which no one really wants to do because no one has the time to do that. So setting your baseline is a great practice. I recommend that you do this at the very beginning of a project when you are first getting ready to begin the work. You can set new baselines as well as approved change requests come through. So if we got a request to add some work, to add some scope to our project, and we need to adjust start dates, end dates, build in some predecessor tasks, we may want to set a new baseline so that we are measuring against the progress from that day forward. So that is all about baselines. I'm going to go back and show you, if we go back to Gantt view and we go back to baselines, you will now see just by clicking on that, that we are two days behind schedule. So this is a really quick way to glance. It shows that our project is now going to end on 8-3 versus the originally planned 730. So this is going to show us overall is the project behind schedule versus just looking at the task. So this is really great. You can remove the baseline. You can reset the baseline all from right here. So this is going to be your go-to. You need to have it in Gantt view in order to get to this baseline options. So I'm going to click okay here. I also want to show you something great about the Gantt chart. You're now going to see these lines in the Gantt chart. So if you see these little dark lines under the task that are now showing as behind schedule. So those are the original dates that we had in our project schedule. When we set our baseline, it added the actual lines and the task for the original dates. Now that some of our activities are pushing out, you can see at a quick glance via the Gantt chart if they're behind schedule or not. Thank you so much for watching today. Again, I am Candace Porter. Please shoot me a comment below. I always like to see your questions, your comments. Also subscribe, click the little bell and subscribe to this channel. We're going to continue to release content on all things project management. You will also find a link to my website in the comments if you'd like to book a consulting session or just check out what type of services we offer. That's a great spot to go. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you. Best of luck on your projects.